Oh, shoot. Brent's sick of me talking about it, but I had to bring it up because, well, I like talking about it. I want to share it with you guys. So I've talked about TikTok in the past. It's a new app that I've been trying out. It's awesome. You get to make cool videos. And I posted like a 15 second, in, uh, 15 second video and it's got like 50,000 views on it. It blew up. People have watched that video for 150 hours. So now I'm, I've just been kind of waiting, sitting at home, um, just waiting by my phone. So I don't know if like LA is supposed to call me or if I'm supposed to get in touch with somebody from LA. Like, cause obviously I'm, a, I'm like a social media sensation now. What's up everybody? Thanks for joining me today in my home office. Oh, it's, it's not actually that messy, but I'm not gonna let you see it for too long because usually it's pretty messy, but. Why am I working from home? I'm trying to, uh, I don't know, not leave the house for anything other than what I need to. I will have to leave the house today to go load up some seed. Um, there's a recall on some seed I have to send back to wherever it is it comes from. So I gotta run out there today. But anyways, yeah, you saw me. I jumped on a Zoom call there today. An enemy in his life, it was Carol Baskin. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. It's Carol at Big Cat Rescue. I had to get this in the mail the other day. On our air seeker, we have cameras in the tanks. Um, one of those cameras stopped working. I actually watched the cord wrap around the wheel. I was watching it out the back. This is mounted on our tank. It's supposed to sh uh, view the... Uh... Damn it, Brent, I'm filming. Hey guys, say hi to Brent. Okay, back to it. Like I was saying, that cord is wrapping around the wheel and I saw it rip out of the back of the camera so we had to order a new one, but I'm pretty pumped that how quickly they sent one out. I was expecting to wait a week and it came overnight. But it's not like we're gonna be working on it anyways because it's second winter. Oh yeah, I was gonna ask you guys if any of you are running these cab cam cameras. Um, we were having issues at night when we turn the lights onto the tractor, when the sun goes down, we gotta turn the lights on. And for some reason, these cameras shut off. So we can't actually see what is on the monitor. The monitor goes blue in the cab and we can't see what's going on in the tanks. We gotta send the monitor away to get it looked at for warranty. It's still covered. Um, so maybe that'll fix it, but I don't know. It was a new monitor to start with, so I'm skeptical. I told Brent to grab it from the shed. Hopefully he did. Um, what? Oh, nice, Brent. You're on top of it. Good job. Okay, so we'll just... Good to go. Oh yeah, before I forget, if you like what you're watching, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I did notice that 75% of you are not subscribed, but you're you enjoy the videos and you're watching the videos throughout. So hit that subscribe button so you get notified the next time I upload a video so you can follow along. Anyways, let's go. Look at it. Look at it all. It's white everywhere. Back in the seed shed, I uh, there's some recalled seed I got to send back, so I got that on the one of the forks here right now. There's ten bags, so yeah, it's a new day. Um, it snowed like a couple feet yesterday, so yeah, crazy. Trucker got delayed, so I couldn't go out yesterday, so he's here, he's here now, and we're just gonna check that on the truck really quick here. So uh, he's got to go to Nepal now, and then he's back to Lethbridge, so hopefully the roads aren't too bad for him. But yeah, got some seed to go out here. Hopefully get to that here soon. Um, the shop's a mess. And there's like two feet of snow in front of the shed. So I don't even know how we're gonna load, load the trailer up with the seed. It's gonna be a, if it doesn't dry out and get windy, get warm, it's gonna be a mess. But. That truck was waiting here when I came and Good thing we changed the battery when we did. Jumped in the forklift and it started like a champ. Man, isn't it uh, isn't it nice when things just work? What a little maintenance can do, eh? Who would have known? Wow, whose truck is that? They should really take care of it better. So what do you guys think? Should I be driving around? So I'm pretty self-quarantined in the truck here by myself, but I don't know, I just have to get out of the house. 
I feel for everybody living in the cities who can't go out. Uh, you know, I can well, spend hours outside and not see a person if I wanted to. <coughs> it would be bad. This is the only only situation where I might run into somebody. If I got stuck or something, or truck trouble, and I had to get somebody to come help me out. Um, hasn't happened yet. I have thought about this a lot, actually, when I'm, because like, I go in back roads all the time, checking crops or finding guys' houses or yards, delivering seed or whatever. Um, but yeah, if I was to break down out there, a lot of my area doesn't have great cell service, so I'm kind of, I'm just kind of, I'll just be sitting there. It hasn't happened yet, but I'd just be sitting there. I know this is how it would work. I'd have to wait for, to be found. That's just the reality of it. Like I'm, I got, maybe I have my chair. My chair would be better if I got in a situation like that because I could, I like my arms are strong enough. I could just keep going and find a yard, but until I run into somebody, but my walker, I'd go 100 feet and I'd be gassed. All the farmers in the area are pretty nice for the most part. For the most part. There's a decent amount of snow here. Like this snow was basically all gone. The water was starting to pool up in the low spots. Um, and starting to run off, which was awesome because I could see, I could see planting being decently dry. The old saying is, seed into dust and your bins will bust. I guess the crops do better when it's dry like that. I don't know why. I don't have enough experience with that yet to say, to know. Like I haven't, I haven't, we've only seen, the, we've only put in two crops myself, me and Brent, and um, it's been dry, dusty for the most part. Um, other than the one time we got stuck, without just me last year, I was got too close to the slough. But yeah, it's it's been you know dry for the most part, and we've had phenomenal yields on the cereal side. Anyways, canola is yeah probably average mid yeah I don't know high to I don't know what's average. <laughs> I don't know if we'll be seeding by May first. Last year as May second we started seeding some barley. May first, May second. Uh, we were in the field before that doing some prep work on some ground harrowing and discing some ruts that we made and different things which was Which was good you had to do that or else I don't really like ruts at all So you got to clean them up, but now seeing all this snow here it's your, your guess is as good as mine when will be when we will be planting. I don't know. I'm hopeful we'll go first week of May, but Depends what the two week for or the next couple weeks look like it could warm up melt off dry out That'd be good. Oh, I had some people asking about um, what the red stuff was on that corn seed that was in the last video or two videos ago. Um, it's just a seed treatment that uh, we coat the seed with to help protect against insects and uh, seedling diseases in the soil. Just get it off to as, as best to start as we can. That's the, that's the idea. So that seed treatment tech should help kill off any insects, predator insects that might try to feed on that seed or any diseases, so. I should, I wanna take a second here just to thank everybody for all the shout outs you did for uh, my birthday. My birthday was last, it's on the 23rd of March. So that's like last week now, last Monday. But yeah, I appreciate all the kind words. I didn't do anything special, it was like we were, my mom brought in a cake for me. That was super great. Carrot cake, cheesecake. Man, so good. Uh, but yeah, we didn't, uh, no real family get together. That being said though, the last two birthdays, my parents haven't even been there anyways. It's like they plan their trips down to the States or cruises, whatever, on my birthday. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because they love me so much. <laughs> on another good note, April 15th. That is the anniversary of when I broke my back. It just kind of like drilled into my mind that date. Um, yeah, you never forget something like that, but honestly, it doesn't really matter when it happened. Um, but yeah, so that comes up and it's like, what, that was in 2015, that was 22. So yeah, it's been a wild ride, boys. I think, honestly, I've become a better person since then. And to, sit, to be able to say that, it's awesome. I'm, I'm proud of myself. I don't. I don't. Know. Is that too? Is that being full of myself? I don't know. So I guess that's a good place to cut this vlog off. Finish off. Finish it off on a good note. Um, I appreciate you guys 
hanging around watching these videos. Thanks for joining me. Talk to you later.